What's going on guys? It's Anna. It's 2.34 p.m. on Thursday, February 27th, 2014. And if you follow me on anything, you quite possibly know now that I put my dog to sleep last night. It's been, it's been really tough. Um, if you read my story on my blog, you would know that my dog, she was my family, my baby. She, she was literally my world. She is what, you know, kept me to the ground and she, always had me glued together and she kept me out of trouble not like I'd get into any cause I don't have any friends and she was my only friend um uh she had been sick for a while it seemed to just be one thing after another um it really happened she really honestly got sick after Betsy passed away and my dad likes to joke saying well she wanted to follow Betsy and I guess now they're together um two days ago her legs hold up and she had a lump uh, and then the next day after she her leg was just swollen it just it was double sometimes triple the size of her other leg and it was bone cancer and you can't really do anything to stop it or prevent it and she was already in a lot of pain so uh my stepmom knocked on my door last night around nine o'clock nine thirty i'd already gotten to bed i was in bed at like eight thirty and she goes, Anna, we gotta put your dog to sleep. And I was like, okay, you're the vet, you know what's best. So, I went downstairs and I loved on her. I brought up stories how she was the greatest dog and how the first day I had her, she, of course, just went with an old guy around our neighborhood and did four miles was just some complete stranger just just left my property and went on a walk with this old dude had had no idea who she was I've only had her for like less than 24 hours and she's doing four mile walk with some old guy in Georgia because he was walking around our neighborhood and she just went with him and just walked and just stayed next to him or I was making homemade dog treats and one of these recipes had cheese in it. I made like this giant ass cheese ball that I was to roll out and make cookie cutters in and me and my mom are in the kitchen making this and we turn around to get the cookie cutters and the rolling pin and we turn back around and that giant ass cheese ball isn't there anymore on uh you know the the table and Lucy has it in her mouth, so of course, me being the lovely mom I was, I reached my hand down her throat and pulled it all back out and made cookies from it, but it was, God, that was awful. Those smelled awful, too. She loved them, though. It was, it was awful. Uh, Lucy really was a hero dog. Be honest. Uh, my mom had a heart attack, and it was Lucy who, you know, got me up to go see what it was. My grandmother fell. Lucy was the one who told me that she had fallen, and I had to go downstairs. She slept by my stepmom because my stepmom has heart problems, and uh, she saved my life when I thought about ending it during high school. She really was 
the best dog in the world. And she was my first dog. And we went through shit together. We went through high school. We went through being homeless. We went to moving. We went through a summer in Texas. God, that was awful. We went to shaving her. She always got dressed up. I always had little outfits for her, even though she was a quadruple XL in dog clothes or a triple XL. She was, she loved everybody. That dog was not aggressive one bit. I mean, I had ducks. There are photos of when I had my ducks. I I got them when they were like a day or two old, day, maybe three days old. And I got them in the mail. And on my other YouTube channel that I don't use anymore, because I don't have ducks or Lucy. But, um, I had them walking out around our kitchen while we were in Georgia. And Lucy was in the den and she wouldn't come into the kitchen because these little ducklings just scared the shit out of her. And, you know, they weigh like less than an ounce and my dog's over there at 120 pounds and she's just terrified. And they walked to her and they, they cornered her in her kennel and this is just a big dog and these little ducklings like that big. Just, just scaring the crap out of my dog. She, she loved everybody. She loved all dogs. She barked. Every dog barks, but... Lucy would bark, but if another dog barked at Lucy, she just was like, whoa, too much. You need to, you need to go calm down a little bit. She was really, she was really mellow. She was on TV a few times. A lot of photos of her, but I put her down yesterday and I you know, filled out the paperwork on how I want her back because she's being cremated. Uh, I'm not burying her. I'm not going to be living in this house much longer. But, um, she's going to be cremated. And I've had a lot of people, you know, ask me, well, are you going to bury her in her box? No, I'm not. She's going to travel with me wherever I go. She's going to be in her urn. I got her a really nice urn. I literally just spent my entire tax return on her urn. Earned? Urn urn? I don't know. How the hell you say it? It's um it's a bronze head statue of a German shepherd. Then I'm gonna have a photo of her. And it says Lucy Lou two thousand eight to two thousand fourteen. She was five. She had her birthday was um, a month and 25 days, April 22nd. She was born at 8.34 a.m. in the morning. She died at 10.02 at night. Well, she was given the injection at 10.02. She passed very quickly. She was, she was ready to go. She was in pain. I did give her bacon, though, before she left. I didn't have a steak. I promised her a steak and all I had was a bacon. But, um, the doodles, the other two dogs that live with me, they were there and, uh, before the injection started, they had figured out what was happening and they both went into the other room and just laid, laid there until we came and got them and they knew what was happening. They said their goodbyes. But, uh, I guess at, you know, 11.30 last night, I just, I couldn't stay at the house. I just wanted to be alone. So I, I went to the gym and I left about, I left around 3. I was there for a very long time. And then I went over to Walmart and I bought I bought
bought these cookies. And then I ate them all because I wanted the cookies. And I deserved the cookies. And Lucy wouldn't have cared if I had the cookies. And I had burned enough calories in the gym I could have the cookies. And so I had the cookies. I've had some popcorn today. Uh, I was I'm on maintenance and I'm on transition and I know what my body needs and it wants and even with sadness like this, I thought of all the things I could go and eat yesterday just to get rid of how I felt and instead I went to the gym and then afterwards I went to Walmart in 30 degree weather and shorts and was staring down food and whatnot and looking at it of the nutritional value and I pretty sure I creeped out some of those Walmart employees. Cause I had been crying on the treadmill and I scared all the people around me away. And you know at two o'clock there's there's only three of us. So that's that. Um I miss her. It is taken a lot of strength not to, you know, self-harm, not to binge eat. Once you're a depressed person, and you have something like a dog like that, who just comes in and just brings his light with them. Even as a puppy, he just brings his light and your life isn't as shitty anymore. And you don't want to get the knife and slice your wrist open. You you don't need to. You have, you have a dog. They're there for you. Lucy was there for me. She was my light. She kept me from killing myself. And even how far I've come today, I've still had thoughts about it. And I don't want those demons to come back. And I'm going to try my hardest to keep going and to do what Lucy would have wanted me to do and to live my life how I wanted to live it with her in our little townhouse. <laughs> Just me and her, we were going to have a little townhouse and a bakery on the beachfront that was dog friendly and she was going to be a little mascot. I'll probably, I'll probably be getting, you know, a tattoo in the next week or two. And it's going to be a German Shepherd silhouette. And I haven't decided where yet. If it's going to be behind my ear and have Lucy Lou under it. Or on my ankle. But I'm going to get one because that was my baby. And I miss her so much. Well, that's it for today. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully, in a lot happier. And less crying, it's not a video. Alright.